And while the back, let's get some of the flowing with our players before we resume tile work. Love music and plays the bass and electric guitar. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I started playing bass when I was in 8th grade, and then uh, throughout my high school years, I mostly uh, focused on playing the, the bass. I played it in our jazz band and pet band and stuff. But uh, more recently, I picked up the electric guitar, and I also enjoy playing that just as much. So. Alright, nice having you back. Kim Zippi, our acting superintendent at Commodore Perry, robbed at gunpoint in Pittsburgh. What were the circumstances? Well, I was actually volunteering at the Red Cross, and uh, somebody I was dating, we went and he put me, um, opened the door, because he's such a gentleman, and put me in the car, and he started to go around, and I could see in the side view mirror that there was somebody holding a gun on him, and uh, unfortunately, I listened to everything that my mother always told me to do, that if anybody's trying to get in the car, you should blow the horn, so I locked the doors and started blowing the horn, and it could have potentially been very serious, but... Right. But you're here, and you're here with us today, I am. tonight. So I guess it came out all right. All right. That's Nick Cerrone, favorite vacation spot, Geneva on the Lake, Ohio. Tell us about yeah. that. Um, it's not terribly far from where I live in Sharon, which is in northwestern Pennsylvania. Um, it's a short drive, but you feel like you're in another world when you go there. You know, it's right on the lake, Lake Erie, so it's very beautiful and picturesque. There are several excellent wineries up there, mm -hmm. some nice restaurants. It's just a fun place to relax and hang out and get away from it all. All right. And it's affordable. It sure is. All right, Nick. Pick up your signaling button, take a look at the board, make the next election, and we shall resume. You have too much for 800. We resume with this. If you suffer from hypernatremia, put down the potato chips. Kim? What is... Too much water. No. Nick or Kyle? Nick. What is sodium? Correct. Uh, you have too much for a thousand. Finishing up that category. If you're bicycling with higher than recommended PSI. Nick. Too much air. What is too much air? Yeah, pressure in your tires. We'll accept that. Oh, thank you. You're bored. They went to Penn State for 200. We be fe begin the category with this. This 1974 Penn State graduate dedicated his Heisman Trophy win to his sick brother Joey. Nick? Who is John Capaletti? You are correct. They went to Penn State for 400. Enter. These two Penn Staters, classes of 1970 and 1995, lost zero games as starters yet won no national championships. They are father and son. Um. Who are Charlie and Tony Pittman? Your board's still Nick. Um. Geek Love for 600. Back to that category. This director's geek cred was sealed when he stole his film company's computer division and it later became Pixar. Who Kyle. Is, who is Steve Jobs? No. Nick or Kim? And that geek cred director? George Lucas. Oh. Nick tried again. Um, the 40s for 200. In 1942, an A-ration cart allowed you three gallons of this fuel in a week. Kim? What is gas? Correct, gasoline. Four, uh, 400. In 1942, RCA plated a master copy of Chattanooga Choo Choo this color to honor a million souls. Nick. What is gold? Correct. The 40s for 600. Enter. In his first speech as Prime Minister on May 13, 1940, he delivered the blood, toil, tears, and sweat line. Kyle. Who is Winston Churchill? Correct. You're, all, you're back on the board. Um, 40s for 800, please. Enter. In June 1947, this general accepted Columbia University's offer to become its president. <coughs> Away. Who is Dwight D. Eisenhower? Try it again, Kyle. Um, 40s for 1,000, please. Finishing out that category. The women for whom Walter Annenberg founded this mag in 1944 are now on Social Security.
So that magazine is 17. Kyle, try it again. Uh, geek Love for 800. Answer. Sexy Linus Torvalds made us melt when he created this freely distributed Unix clone in 1991. Nick. What is Linux? Linux. Correct. Geek Love for 1,000. Answer. Hunky Mark Anderson turned heads with this early web browser and company, later bought out by America Online. Kim? No, Nick. What is Netscape? Nick, you are correct. Uh, they went to Penn State for 600. Answer. This 1956 Penn State graduate went from the National Football League to subduing Sirhan Sirhan after the assassination of Robert Kennedy. Who is Roosevelt or Rosie Greer? Nick, try it again. They went to Penn State for 800. This star of ABC's Modern Family earned a master's degree from Penn State in 1997. Nick. Who is Ed O'Neill? No. Kim or Kyle? And that Penn Stater is Ty Burrell. And now the last clue for a thousand. In commercials for his law firm, this 1960s Penn Stater says, that there's never a fee unless we get money for you. Nick. Who is Edgar Snyder? You are correct, and with that correct response, you move up to 6,800, commanding lead. Kim and Kyle are tied for, with 600, but it is Kyle who will select first in double jeopardy, and we will have the board ready to go for that round following these commercial messages.